Hello everybody, welcome back to the Katie and Tim Taste Testers for Aldi this week. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm very excited. There's a lot of fun things. Like we kind of went crazy and just like put, Tim was like, just put it in the cart. That was his, his motto while we were getting ready to shop at Aldi. He's like, just put it in the cart. So that's what we did. So we have a lot of fun things to try for you guys. Bunch of holiday stuff. We're going to be trying the cheese advent calendar and letting you know um, we're not going to try them all, but we're going to punch some out and try them and have a bunch of other things to try. So, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. So I hope you guys are excited for this video. If you are, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get right into this week's Aldi taste test. All right. Oh, baby, just hold tight. We're up the Okay, so Tim is actually going to start us off this week with... So, so I thought this was really interesting. It's called uh, Crispy Stuffed Shrimp, Creamy Garlic and Spinach. So I don't know if I've ever had stuffed shrimp before. Um, but I just stuffed made this... Stuffed shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That is interesting. Yeah, so I just made this in the oven. It took, what, like 16 minutes? Yeah, so this is an oven thing. I first, I thought this was like a microwavable meal, and Tim was like, no, 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 no. And we read the back, and you just put them in the oven. They're super easy. Probably could have air fried them, no problem. Probably, um, yeah. Just like a little lower, I mean, time-wise, like a little less time. But let's see. Here we go. Like it. We're starting off with a win. I think this is the first Aldi thing I've ever had before, and it's <laughs> really good. Um, yeah, I, I would say... Um, they, they turned out really crispy, which is great, and the flavor is fantastic. The like creamy garlic and spinach, that flavor isn't like too much, mm -hmm. and it goes really well. So I'm stoked. It's off to a great start. Well, I'm glad that was a win for you. It's not hard when it comes to shrimp and Tim. He loves shrimp, so <laughs> I'm glad mm -hmm. you liked it. Uh, the next thing that we're going to try is the Southwest Chopped Salad. So they have this at Aldi. And you guys know who watched my Trader Joe's hauls. I love the Southwest, Southwest chopped salad. This one was a little different. So I opened the bag and this is what it looks like. I mixed it all together. The um, greens inside look almost identical to the Trader Joe's ones. And all the little things that you add are all individually packaged just like at Trader Joe's too. I will say, that the amount of, um, there was a cheese bag and there was like tortilla chips and then the packet of dressing. The cheese and the tortilla chips were much less in the bags at, from Aldi. So that was something I already initially noticed and the dressing looked a lot different. This is like a creamy, um, what was it? Jalapeno ranch. So I'm excited to try it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Are you gonna try it too? Yeah, I'll try it. The dressing is incredible. It has like a little spicy kick to it. It's really creamy. Um, it's really flavorful dressing actually. So I love the dressing. The toppings and stuff kind of just blend in. The shredded cheese in here, like you could always obviously add more to it if you wanted to. Personally, I feel like the dressing gives you everything you want. I did get a couple of the crunchies from the tortilla chips, but all said and done, this is a really good salad. It's honestly not something you could really compare with the Trader Joe's one. Yeah, what do you think? It, yeah, it's definitely different. Um, this, I think it's very similar in most of it, mm -hmm. but the, the most important part is the dressing and that's different. Yeah, the dressing is um, totally different. Cause the other one yeah. is not spicy from Trader Joe's and it, it's like almost like a vinaigrette. Really good too. I like them both, um, they're just different. So one thing I will say though, Trader Joe's has like a big chunks of, I think it's like radish or something like that. This does yeah. not have this. This is just like shredded lettuce and maybe cabbage, but um, it doesn't have those big chunks of, of like radish in there. So I actually kind of like this mix a little better. It's a little easier to eat. Yeah. All said and done, I say this salad is delicious and I'm going to finish this for my lunch today. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, the spiciness isn't too bad, um, so. Yeah, it's a good alternative to the other one. Well, I am getting kind of thirsty. How about Me you? too. Me too. Uh, <laughs> ben, I and this almond nog, so I'm excited to give it a try. This is both Tim and I's favorite, um, like holiday beverage. I would say for for the holidays and eggnog wise, we're both not. We don't like real traditional eggnog because it's too thick. 
Um, but we'll see. We used to get the Trader Joe's one every year. And I was obsessed. I loved that stuff. Yeah. I would like drink one of these little cartons like a day. It was, <laughs> I had a problem. So I hope that this holds up to it. Yeah, I hope it's similar or it maybe smells, it's the same thing. It smells knows? identical. But how cute is the packaging? <laughs> I agree. This is so cute. It has little snowman and a little red truck, which I love. Red trucks are my favorite for the holidays. Cheers. Ready? Cheers, honey. Ooh, That's pretty darn close. That's really good. You know what? I just remembered Trader Joe's switched out their um, their almond nog to oat nog. Remember last oh, year? So and we didn't like it. I'm so yeah. glad we found an almond nog because like I was telling you guys in the hall, almond milk is our favorite. And this is so good. Yeah. It does have a Yay. little bit more sweetness, which I'm like, okay, about a little bit. Yeah, a little bit sweet, but... Uh, I, I see what you're saying there. Yeah, but it is really good. And uh, you can mm. probably spike this if you wanted to. Yeah, you could. Um, I like that it still has like a thickness to it, but it's nowhere near like a, an eggnog thick. But it, they did somehow get it to be like a thicker consistency. And it for sure tastes just like what I remember eggnog tasting like. So, yum. Yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> we got our eggnog back. We got it. All right, we are going to move on to the Parmesan garlic and herb pita chips. And we have the little quartet that I showed and we're just gonna dip right into it and let you know, I'm really curious to see how the Parmesan crisps are. We've actually already dipped quite a bit into the hummus and Benson's in the background right now eating some hummus with the garlic naan that we just showed and he loves it. So we're gonna try. I have not dipped into this. Well, I have. I I am keeping it hundred. I'm not. Uh, well, I'm not diving in. <laughs> we all know what hummus tastes like. Oh. We haven't tried these. These are brand new. We have not. That's them. true. There you go. Okay. So I'm. I think I'm gonna try it first with just the plain and see how that goes. This is the plain one. Okay. The one that's practically gone. Mm -hmm. Oh yum. That's good. These are crisps good. are yeah. good. These pita chips have a lot of flavor. They're like, yeah, and they're like fluffy and and Not crisp. too hard, they don't yeah. hurt your teeth. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the garlic one. Flaky, flaky. I feel like the garlic one's gonna be good. Garlic. Well, that one was real good. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, the, the pita chips, I could just eat those on my own. They're like really good. And the hummus, we all know what these hummuses are. It's good hummus, I like it. I love that we have the options. Like Tim's trying them all. He's trying all. Yes, I am. You're gonna tell your final verdict on which one's your favorite. So I'm gonna say my favorite one out of this one was the garlic. That was the roasted so garlic. Too. Had a lot, of, a lot of flavor to it. It was really good. Yeah, the roasted garlic was my favorite too with these. But honestly, if you're not a hummus person, just getting these alone, these are fantastic. These are so good. I agree. It makes me want to go back and get more because I feel like these are gonna be gone in no time. <laughs> But yeah, these are really yummy. And the hummus quartet, I just, I missed this because Trader Joe's used to carry this um, for a long time and then they discontinued it. So I'm glad to see a place that has this again because I really like having the different ones separated. That way mm -hmm. Benson can have some and then we can have our favorites and we all like something different. So it works out well. All right, we are moving on to the chips now. We have three different chips we're gonna try. We're gonna start off with the garlic mash. These are the ones that I thought looked the best. So we're gonna try these and let you know how they are. So we also got uh, cheesy garlic bread potato chips, which I think are gonna be my favorite of three. And then the one I think that we both agree on is gonna be a little bit different is beer flavored potato chips. Yeah, that's gonna be really <laughs> interesting. Um, I might need to grab a beer to, to eat those chips. <laughs> well, we're trying the cheese advent calendar. Maybe we'll have to open some wine. Oh, maybe we'll have to do both. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we didn't even get any alcohol at all day this time. I know, not, not this time. Next time. Yes. All right, here we go. Well, that is weird. <laughs> it is really weird. Um, I don't know, I mean, Garlic mashed potato. That's what I'm supposed to be tasting. Mm -hmm. All right, let me try this again because I don't know. <laughs> it kind of like has a old garlicky taste, you know? Yeah. Like an old shoe. <laughs> an old shoe. <laughs> yeah. 
up. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's not what I was expecting it to be. Oddly enough, I kind of like the more I have it and more I want to keep going for it. Yeah. Um, try another one. It's got that effect, but it does have, what is that flavor? Almost, you're going to hate this, but it almost has like bacon? Oh, a smokiness. It might be like a bacon flavor. Uh-oh. <laughs> Because it's just Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, and natural flavors. So, I don't know. It was, it, it's an interesting chip. And actually, it's funny that Tim said that because I just had another one and it's kind of growing on me too. <laughs> it's weird. They're really weird. They're super salty though. Yeah. And um, yeah, I could see these just like being a little addicting. I don't know. All right. So we have two more chips to try. We've got the cheesy garlic bread and the beer ones. Which ones do you want to do first? Let's do the cheesy garlic bread. I, I feel like the beer one is going to not be great. <laughs> just, I know. I think that's Who knows? Too. But, and they it was, were on sale. Yeah. I was going to say it was cheaper than the other ones yeah. too. So not a good sign. Oh, these look like your favorite kind of chips. Yeah. The, the cheddar sour cream. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you got a bunch. You're confident. I'm confident. Let's, <laughs> let's get in. Oh, yeah. These taste like a lot like the sour cream cheddar. They do, but they're different. They're, yeah, they they're are different. good. I'm trying to think if they taste like cheesy garlic bread to me or not. They're yummy. I like these. These are good chips. <laughs> I'm like eating them out of the bag. Yeah, mm. these are really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dang it. <laughs> We're just like addicted to all these already. Yeah. What do they put in here? <laughs> mm. All right. Oh. These are a winner. By far better than the garlic mash one. Okay. Now to... Maybe it'll be a surprise. Maybe we'll be blown away. Maybe. Beer chips. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can't smell beers. It smells like potatoes on this. No, it just smells like potato chips. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That tastes like beer. That is so weird. What? It's like, like weird. the sweetness though, like, like a Bud Light. I was thinking like Coors Light. Coors Light, but it's like, got like a sweetness to it almost. This is so weird. I almost don't want to eat this part, but I will. <laughs> You're eating more? You I'm, like I'm trying to get the flavor of it down, give a good profile for you guys, but it's interesting. Ugh, I am not a fan of these. No, 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 no. These taste too much like I'm eating beer. Like I'm <laughs> chewing it. And I don't, I don't know, like I, I'm sure there is a recipe. You could crunch these up and sprinkle them on top. Like I'm thinking a casserole or something and that would maybe add like a total new flavor profile or like depth of flavor for the recipe. Um, I will have to think about that because I feel like these chips probably will not get eaten. Although I don't know. I don't know. I you mean, like them? I don't hate them, but they're weird. <laughs> they're really weird. Uh, I, I think when I have a beer, that will be the true test. A beer with some chips. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Um, okay, so by far of all the chips we tried, these are my favorite. Oh yeah, no Your question. Favorite too? Those are definitely. Actually, I just need one to wash it down because that <laughs> that beer oh, chip. Oh, you know, you're right. Me too. Mm mm. No no no. All right, it is time to move on to the cheese advent calendar. I'm so excited for this. I don't know why I'm such a sucker for advent calendars, but I just like the surprise. It's fun. Um, but, but. We need wine. We need wine. <laughs> I'm gonna get some wine, I'll be right back. We're back. We got some wine, Tim opened it for us, and this is a, actually, if you guys saw my Costco haul, the most recent one that I posted, I showed you guys a big four pack of wines that come in a box, and this is one of them, so I thought it'd be fun to try it on here. Even though it's not an Aldi wine, it is a Costco wine. The this, box was like a wooden crate too. Yeah, I mean, really, really cool nice. packaging. If you yeah. haven't seen that haul from Costco, it has a lot of fun holiday ideas in that one. And I plan to do another Costco one very soon. Um, yeah, so this is, what is this one actually? Uh, mm -hmm. This is a Bordeaux? Yes, it is. I think they're all Bordeaux. So this is a, Cabo. it's from Barra, Barracan? Barracan. 
2019 got a 91 out of 100 from the wine enthusiast. Should we try it? We are wine enthusiasts. We are wine enthusiasts. So <laughs> let's see what how many points we give it. Okay. Bold. I like so it. I feel like these are very bold wines. Lots of flavor. Not a hint of sweetness in these. Um, they are. I, I don't know. I like it though. I like the flavor of it. Yeah. Um, I feel like it could be more bold. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like the flavor is very light for it being a Bordeaux. So we're going to be sipping on our wine. We're going to try the Advent cheese. So I'm thinking Tim and I should just randomly pick a number. Pick a number. Yep. One through 24. Um, uh, what's today's date? Today is the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th? What is it? <laughs> Today is the 11th. Let's do 11. All right. That's my lucky number. Oh yeah. Lucky number 11. Oh, here it is. You want to punch All out right. your number? This is your number, but yeah, I picked well, it. Well, you picked it. All right. What do we got here? Black pepper Gouda. I just want to show them what it looks like. So when you punch it out, this is what it looks like. The little cheese is wedged in here. Oh, it has like a little slot, so it's not going to fall out. Look at how cute. These are so little. Vincent's in the background. <laughs> he wants to see. Um, so this is the black pepper gouda. Yes. You can do the honors. All right, I will. Are they easy to open? That's we'll the find question. out. Oh, yep. They look pretty easy. Yay. Boom, shakalaka. You want to start no us off? No needed. Is this two pieces? Oh, no. No. Okay, this is soft. Oh, you can see the big chunks of peppercorn in here. Ooh, it smells really good, too. It smells kind of lemony, actually. That's good. That black pepper comes through. I know, it does. Mm. It reminds me of the other cheese mm. we tried from Trader Joe's that had the big... Oh, yeah. it was the um, peppercorn that. brie. I really liked that, too, but I really like... Ooh, the peppercorn yeah. flavor in this. This is incredible. Me too. So That's, that was a really good cheese. Let's I'm not, try it with our yeah. wine. Okay. Vincent, what number should I choose? Seven. 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 Okay. Right. Vincent picked seven. Boom. There's seven. Boom right next to it. Hey. 7-Eleven. Oh, it actually tells you too. It says with a fiery bite in this section. Oh. And there's like double Gloucesters right. up there. Goudas. Smoked, smoked Gouda. So it kind of gives you general ideas what, mm -hmm. what the kind of cheese is going to be. This one is a red pesto gouda. Ooh. Benson, good pick, bud. Yeah. It does. Yeah. So I love that these cheeses, you can see all like the flakes in there and stuff. So you know you're getting a piece that has this stuff in it. Oh my gosh, it's like eating pasta. It's like pizza to me. Pizza too, yeah. Oh my gosh, it tastes so much like mm. pizza. I love that one. <laughs> That's so weird. This cheese is good. I know, it is good cheese. Well, it's Gouda. It's really Gouda. <laughs> <laughs> silly. Just get the wine out and we act silly without even, uh, we've had like a couple sips and so we're already being silly. <laughs> we're just so excited. <laughs> well, we've missed out on taste tests that? for a couple weeks, so. It's like coming back and being, it's like coming back from a vacation that you're fully refreshed and like revitalized and ready to come back to work stronger than ever. I feel like that's where we're at right now. We got a couple of weeks of a break. I had my birthday last week. We now fun. we're full force back into work mode, which I'm here for. Oh. With tasting I'm cheese and working wine. working hard right here. <laughs> no. So I think we're going to pick two more. Do you want to pick another number? Hmm. I'm just finishing this cheese. Yeah, cheese. yeah what number, Bob? <laughs> okay, Benson picked 10. All right. What do we got in 10? Oh, <laughs> no. What? Truffle. Oh, no. <laughs> you got your dad. Oh. <laughs> Cheddar. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. He's already getting the wine ready. I need more wine for this. <laughs> if you hear Benson in the background, he has just is recovering from a cold. So if you hear him coughing and sniffling, that's all it is. He's so much better than he was at the beginning of the week. <laughs> yeah, Vincent I... is so excited to see his dad try oh. truffle. All right, I'll try it. You gonna finish this? No, I will take a little nibble of it. No, take a big bite of it. Oh wow! Oh wow! 
Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is truffly. It is truffly. <laughs> Gosh darn it. All it's right. It's really truffly. Doing it for you guys. It's good though. I so oh, good. you took a big butt. Whoop. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh my god. You know, that was. I just swallowed it down. Oh god. <clears throat> so, just as I was saying <laughs> that uh, Benton was recovering, he had like a full on cough attack. Well, because he was laughing, laughing so hard. <laughs> so, I apologize if you uh -huh. hear him coughing in the background, but uh, what do you think about that cheese? Uh, that was gross. <laughs> you took a bigger bite of than I was expecting. I, I know, I wasn't even thinking, I was just, just bit into it. And then, as I was eating it, I just swallowed it down with like a big gulp of wine. Because I was like, I was like, oh yeah, she's right. This is a lot more cheese than I had hoped. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna pick the last one. And I think, I wanted to go with 17, because when I was 17, I loved that age. Okay, so, Gouda I want to try 17 and see if it's lucky. Nutty and delicious. Smoked paprika Gouda. All right, this is our last cheese we're going to try. Sorry that this video is getting a little long. It's going to be 40 minutes long before we're done. I know. That's very light. It is light, but you can taste the paprika at the end. Yeah. But it's mild, which I actually like because um, paprika can be very overwhelming. If y'all ever made a dish where it calls for paprika, if you use too much, you know you use too much. It's very <laughs> obvious because you can taste it. It's pretty a dominant flavor. So I like that they didn't overdo it in this cheese because you can still taste the cheese very much. And then you just have a very light, like, aftertaste of the paprika. Yeah, I agree. The, the paprika is very mild. Uh, it's not too much. It's a good flavor. Um, and, you know, I just want to say, like, there's been a lot of quality foods that we tried today, and um, we had never been to Aldi, and I am excited to go back. Okay, so the, the reason oh. Tim said this is because he was being a hater, and was like, oh, Aldi, I don't know. and then we get there, and he's like, looking at something, oh, this actually looks good, yeah. oh, this looks good, oh my gosh, and I was like, <sighs> see, like, keep an open mind, because he's know. so used to what we do which is trader joe's costco and like those are that's it <laughs> so i was a hater he but... branched out and i'm glad you did you tried some things you really like and i feel like this is a pretty comparable store to trader joe's so i see why people tend to like shop at both or choose one or the other i feel like aldi has a little bit better pricing um it's a little less uh costly at aldi but um you pay for less uh, crew like the crew members or I don't know what they called there but less people working so you just don't the aisles don't look as nice as Trader Joe's and it's just like a different experience but the food is really what you're paying for when you go into a store not necessarily the experience so I'm happy yeah with everything I am too ready to move on yes is it dessert time it's dessert time okay so I, I'm looking at these macarons let's just get into it because I keep staring at these you know my love affair with macarons. So cute. They're always so cute in these little packages. Yeah. Now, raspberry is the one I want to try. I don't want to do raspberry first, so I want to end on that. I think okay. this one's the vanilla. Are we trying every one of them? Mm-mm. Okay. Not every one, but I want a good, good feeling. Tastes like vanilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are the same texture, consistency as the Trader Joe's ones. Yep. Which I love. So, and these are a little less expensive, which I also love because I don't get a discount. <laughs> All right, we're going into raspberry now? Mm-hmm. Okay. I kind of forgot we were filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Mmm. Mm. Oh, my. The inside. Mm -hmm. Why don't they just make a whole sleeve of raspberry? Like, if they sold these in just, mm. like, raspberry flavor, I would buy them. This raspberry flavor is so good. I I agree. I, I mean, I feel it. like they know what they're doing. They're like throwing some in there that people like, but like maybe don't love like pistachio. I'm sure people love pistachio. Pistachio is good. Let's try that one. <laughs> all right, but <laughs> but then you try raspberry, and it's like it's like the Skittles. You know, like why don't they just make all the Skittles red or whatever? Here's pistachio. Pistachio is light, much lighter than the Trader Joe's pistachio one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the cheesecake bites. 
Oh, I forgot about the cheesecake bites. Okay. So, one thing I did, I forgot to say in my haul, is the cheesecake bites are frozen, but they are, there are two flavors. There's this one that's the chocolate-covered berry cheesecake, and then they have the New York-style cheesecake if you just oh. want the plain one. Yeah. I was tempted to get both, but then I was like, you know what? Do I really need two things of cheesecake? No. Like right after Halloween. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know, Halloween, and then we got all the sweets, so. Yeah. Um, I am going to try this one. Now, if this is incredible, then I might have to go back and try the New York one. So, but we're going to try this one first because this is just, these are so cute. Little cheesecake bites. Oh, we're not sharing? Oh, who can share? You can try first. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the moose cakes. <laughs> yeah, they totally do. Oh. <laughs> not, not moose cake. <laughs> it looks like ice cream on the inside. Kind of. Is it ice creamy? Um, mm. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Honestly, I don't know that I like it. It's almost like nutty, kind of. I mean, I don't know about that. I'm kind of <laughs> nutty, but I don't know. It, it has, it, it didn't have a super berry forward flavor. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Don't get me wrong. I tasted it, but. I taste the berry. I don't know. Um, there is, okay, so I think it's a cheesecake flavor. It gives it like a little tang mixed with the berry and then the chocolate. I see what you mean. Like, it's not my favorite. Definitely not my favorite. I think the plain one probably would have been better. Yeah. Um because there's like too many flavors going on that it's confusing to my palate to know like which flavor I need to focus on and so when they all mix together it just kind of tastes a little like I don't know I don't know I, I see what you're saying I do taste the berry and the berry and the chocolate go well together but it's the cheesecake part that has me like mm, a little thrown off yeah, yeah don't need the cheesecake part that that flavor in with the berry and the chocolate so won't won't get them again Noted. Benson will probably like yeah. it. But let's move on now to the, I think the last item yes, that we've got. Yes, we finally made it. Yes, this is the European chocolate truffles. We got sea salt caramel flavored mousse, chocolate mousse, naturally flavored vanilla, and almond. I'm gonna um, try the almond ones. I always like almonds. There's a little pull tab here. Oh, is there? Yeah. Well, I like to do it my own way. <laughs> I'm a rule breaker. You open it like a man. Ooh, a little comes right off the top. Let's Ooh, see what we got. Oh, Ooh. these are cute. Oh, they are cute. Aww. I thought they were going to be bigger from the package, but this is what they look like. Yeah. I'm glad they're smaller, honestly. <laughs> Why'd you say, yeah? Uh, just, you know, everybody wants a bigger package. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with him sometimes. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so the white balls are vanilla. The sea salt caramel are the sea salt ones. The almond are like the latte colored ball. And then chocolate mousse is like a dark chocolatey covered ball. <laughs> I'm just gonna close my mouth. Let's eat these. So this one's the salted caramel? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try. Go ahead and grab yours. I wanna try the almond. So you do the almond, I'm gonna do the salted caramel. Okay. Mmm. Okay. All right. That's good. I will say though, doesn't have, I don't think that on top is salt. It doesn't have like. Really? I don't think so. What is it, white chocolate? It looks like it's white chocolate. Oh my gosh, I think you're right. So Wait. it's really good, but. Yeah. I was, it is white chocolate. Yeah, I was. That's funny. I was hoping that those were like big granules of salt, like, I'm not the, so. like the other ones. That's kind of deceiving. Yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like. I know. They should have done that. Why didn't they? I don't know. Missed opportunity. Hmm. But this tastes like really good quality chocolate. Those the are almond good. One's, one is good too. I like the almond a lot. Almond is always like a hard flavor to find. I know during the holidays they have a lot more, but I'm glad to see it in this assortment and. We're not going to taste anymore. I'm totally sweet stout. Yeah. Um, but what a freaking successful haul. <laughs> like, freaking successful. I'm happy that this <laughs> one back like turned out so well just because it was fun. I feel like we got to try a lot of new different things and it kind of, it's like this, it's like different, but the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it just, it feels, this feels right. 
It feels good. So yes. um, that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite things are that we tried. I'm sure a lot are going to say the truffle cheese. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and that was just so perfect for Benson what to pick that odds? one. Oh, no. Gosh. Anyways, all of you that watched this video, I so appreciate your support. You're continuing to watch us and um, it means the world to Tim and I because, you know, we always, we talk about you guys and um, share comments with each other and you guys really do feel like friends and family to us. So thank you for continuing to be a part of this and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. See you then. Bye.